Hello, the word for you today is count your blessings, not your problems. See, a lot of times when we look at the things that have happened to us in our life, we tend to look at all of the problems. We tend to look at everything that has gone wrong. We look at all the mistakes we have made. We look at all of the failures that we've had. We look at all of the people that have hurt us, the people that have wronged us, the people that have betrayed us. We can write a whole book about how much people have hurt us, how much they have turned their backs on us and betrayed us. And we can look at all of the negative things, all the hurtful things that have happened into our lives. But what good does it do if we do not look at our blessings? See, God does not want us to focus on those problems because although those problems were necessary, there were blessings still in those problems. The problems happened as spiritual warfare. We all go through spiritual warfare as we are spiritual beings having a human experience. But the spiritual warfare that we endure is in order to equip us because we are on the army of God. We are on the army of God. And as a warrior for the Lord, as a warrior for the Lord, we must have that strength. We must have that spiritual power. We must have that spiritual awareness. We must have the inner strength to endure anything that is thrown at us. So the problems, yes, we have had to have problems, but when we see and we think about all of the good that has come out of it, when we think of how strong we have become out of it, when we know that we have become more equipped, that we have become more stronger, that our faith has increased and we have become more loving souls, more gentle souls because the gentleness comes from the hell that you have overcome. All of the storms that you've endured and every single time the sun came out, the sun is shining and you saw the rainbow showing God's promise that God is promising you that better days are still ahead, better days will come and that we will have the promise. And that God will bring us to brighter, better days. That we will reach our healing. We will reach our breakthrough. But those negative moments, those bad experiences, those problems had to happen so that we can learn to appreciate those better moments when they come. Thank you, Lord. Because if all you had was good, you wouldn't know what abundance felt like. If you were always free, you wouldn't know what freedom felt like. But let me tell you something, my baby. I understand that you have felt like a prisoner. You felt a prisoner in your own home. You felt a prisoner in your own town. You felt a prison, like a prisoner in your own school or in your own job. You felt like a prisoner within your own mind. But let me tell you, if you never felt like being a prisoner, you would never know what freedom felt like. Count your blessings, not your problems. As many problems as you have overcome, as many times as you have endured so much that has happened and so many blessings that have come out of all of those problems because God has never left you nor forsake you. Yes, those problems has existed. Yes, you have gone through things. But the blessings that came throughout each and every of those moments for growing into the version that you are today, becoming so stronger, is exactly why you had to go through those problems. There was a purpose for your pain. I love you. God bless you.